this great millstone mailbag with another edition. Here to feed the elect through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahshai. All praises and glory is due to Yahweh Bashem Yahshai. Now in this edition, I want to debunk the lie that's been going around claiming that the Old Testament did not speak of the one we know as Yahweh Shai, which the world calls Jesus Christ. That the Most High Himself did not speak of Yahweh Shai, which is clearly ironic because there's a term called the only begotten Son of the Heavenly Father. So those that make that statement that the Most High never spoke about his son, Yahweh Shai, that the Old Testament does not really teach about Yahweh Shai, is trying to destroy that statement or that term. The only begotten son, which is a statement that the Heavenly Father himself made, that his son, Yahweh Shai, is the only begotten son. Now, the word begat means first. So, out of all the spirits created on the planet Earth, you always have a first. You always have something called a prototype, the first of its kind. And believe it or not, that is Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is the first spirit ever created on the planet Earth. This is why he has the title, the only begotten son. Okay? So, this edition of the mailbag, I want to expound upon that, build upon that, and show you conclusively that not only is Yahweh Shai written in the New Testament, obviously, but also in the Old Testament, and that the prophets of the Old Testament, for example, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, they all spoke of Yahweh Shai. And um, there's overwhelming evidence of that. As a matter of fact, let's start with the scripture written in the book of Psalms, which is in the Old Testament. The book of Psalms, the 40th chapter, the 7th verse, it says, Then said I, Lo, I come in the volume of the book, it is written of me. Now, we all know that the Psalms were written, the majority of them were written by King David. They were songs that King David sung in the spirit. However, this Psalm here, or this statement here, coming from the book of Psalm 40 and 7, was actually Yahweh Shai speaking in the spirit through King David. Because this prophecy here, or this statement here, then said I, lo, I come in the volume of the book, it is written of me, does not conclusively fit King David, but it fits Yahweh Shai, because really, the whole book, the whole Bible, outside of the history that's contained in it, and the prophecies, really the whole book is about Yahweh Shai, is about Yahweh Shai coming on the planet earth to suffer the things that he did and ultimately for that suffering to receive a reward which is his kingdom on the planet earth all right so when the statement is made lo i come in the volume of the book it is written of me that is really talking about yahweh shai as one who's truly learning the scriptures will find out as a matter of fact, if we were to look up the word volume, the Hebrew word there is magala, magala, and it says roll book writing. Really, the whole book, okay? The whole book deals with Yahweh Shai. The whole book is really about. Yahweh Shai, the book that I'm talking about is the Bible. As a matter of fact, the same scripture, the book
book of Psalms 40 and 7 is repeated in the New Testament, showing you that the New Testament is really nothing but a modification of the Old Testament. Okay? The New Testament was predicated upon the Old Testament. When Yahweh was on earth 2,000 years ago, what did he teach? The New Testament hadn't been written already. So what did he teach? He taught the Old Testament. And he used scriptures from the Old Testament which prophesied about him. Search the scriptures, for in them ye think ye have eternal life, and they are they which testify of me.